Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the snap ring holding the cover plate in place. Using a nylon or rubber mallet, tap the cover plate several times to loosen it before lifting it out. A flat blade screwdriver can then be used to remove the snap ring on the top of the basket. Carefully remove the oil pump drive shaft so it's not damaged. Using circlip pliers, remove the snap ring on the top of the input shaft. Carefully lift the old clutch basket assembly out of the transmission. Lift the new clutch basket assembly into the transmission and carefully place onto the splines. A flat blade screwdriver can then be used to remove the top of the basket on the new clutch. Using a vernier caliper, find the 2mm thick snap ring shim in the range of shims that came in the kit. Install the 2mm thick snap ring shim onto the top of the input shaft in the groove. Set up a dial indicator on the end of the input shaft and set it to zero. Using both hands, lift the clutch basket up and down to check end float in the input shaft. As seen here, this measurement is 0.1 millimeters. Note this number down. Set the dial indicator up on the top of the clutch basket and set it to zero. Using your two hands, lift the basket up and down to check the float on the clutch. As seen here, this measurement is 0.3 millimeters. Note this number down. A small calculation needs to be done at this point to determine the correct snap ring shim size. Starting with the end float in the clutch, take away the end float in the input shaft. Then add this result to 1.85 millimeters. This will give you the resultant snap ring shim size required. In this case, 0.3 minus 0.1 plus 1.85 is equal to 2.05 millimeters. Find the closest required snap ring shim size in the pack supplied using the vernier calipers. Remove the 2mm shim and install the correct snap ring shim on the end of the input shaft. Reinstall the oil pump drive shaft. Install the special dual clutch installation tool between the clutch and bell housing to hold the clutch basket in the raised up position. Install the top of the basket taking note of the orientation markings in relation to the bottom of the basket. Reinstall the snap ring to hold the top basket in place. Take note of the orientation of the snap ring, it only fits in one direction. Ensure the ring is seated right in place. Use a clean rag to clean out the seal groove for the cover plate and ensure there is no burrs. Place the cover plate carefully over the input shaft and lightly tap into place. Install the snap ring to hold the cover in place and ensure that the snap ring is correctly seated.